Hello everyone and welcome to Diecast Dreams. Uh, today I'm going to unbox this 1S218 scale model of Land Rover Defender 110. Uh, this is made by a manufacturer called Dorlop. Uh, while buying this model, I got to know that this is a manufacturer called uh, Century Dragon. But then anyways, I received something called as Dorlop. So I really don't know if they are the same. But the box looks nice it's a black and white really vintage kind of a box looks very nice we have all the pictures and let's unbox it all right so this has come in a foam box uh, styrofoam packaging it has got a, a sticker on it you know this is kind of pasted but I believe under this there would be some sort of tools maybe I guess let's, let's open this okay no there is no door opening tool or anything so it just says this side is the top and then it has got the branding door lock so let's go ahead and uh, check it out all right uh, before we unbox I just noticed that the bottom part has got a few screws so let's open the box and see if we have a screwdriver inside and uh, no nope, there's no screwdriver let me quickly grab a screwdriver and then we're gonna proceed with the unboxing okay i got the screwdriver i got this along with uh, my range rover autograph biography from lcd so this is a screwdriver a beautiful looking one from lcd models we'll use this to unbox to sorry unscrew the model Okay, let's take a look at the model now. This is the Land Rover Defender 110 Heritage model. This comes in this lovely green shade, which looks very retro, very nice. Let's start off with the front of the car. Uh, as you can see in the front, we have the Land Rover Defender, sorry, the Land Rover logo uh, on the grill, on the front grill. The grill is perforated, meaning it has got holes, which is excellent looks perfect you know as like the original the headlights are very clear sharp they have a very good view looks very real we have the indicators and probably this is the fog light i don't know or maybe the parking light not the fog light definitely the parking light and they look very nice the setup is very nice uh, especially this land rover logo this looks awesome this branding looks very real we have the defender badging on the hood and then it's there on the front bumper as well on the top of the hood we got this kind of little scoops uh, plastic scoops I don't know if they are scoops but they're like plastic plates and uh, there is a small antenna here which is in closed state now but I think in real cars you could pull this out and then that would be the antenna so yeah looks very accurate from the front very awesome looking model let's move on to the side profile of the car so on the driver's side profile it's uh, very nice this is the 110 model which has the extra you know the seating capacity or the luggage capacity at the end so it's longish compared to the 90 defender 90 uh, let's start off with the features on the side we got this lovely wheels here they are steel wheels they are not alloys like we have in our modern cars they are steel wheels i don't know what's that okay looks like some sort of gum residue but they are steel wheels they spin they turn they look very classy the tires are good they got this rubbery feel to it 
they are indeed great they look very real the steel wheels uh, we also have this mud flap here which is very nice it's a bit flexible not much it's plastic again on the side we have this side step so people can get down step on this and then get onto the car so that's the side step it's finished in chrome very authentic looking very nicely done the door handles are basic like we have in the real car the rear door doesn't open this model only the front door opens it's from door lock so this makes only the front door open if you want a rear door opening as well you might have to go for the almost real which is uh, pretty expensive by my no i think it's pretty much expensive but then this does it well i mean this this is pretty much fine with me the front door opens the handles are basic just like the real model we got this uh, fuel filler cap here it's not closed or nothing fancy here just basic like it's there in the real car so let's move on to the rear as we move on to the rear we see this land rover badging here on the rear mud flap this is a very nice touch it's a bit flexible it's again plastic but then it's a bit flexible uh, but then this badging looks great we see the badging on both the sides let's take a look at the rear side and the rear profile in a more depth okay uh, the rear side has uh, a lot of things going around first of all we have this tail lamps which are very classy looks very nice uh, but then it's there only on one side this side is the reversing light the indicators are here on both sides and then these are probably brake lights so this looks pretty nice the setup looks good not bad the spare wheel is mounted on the rear door it's again a steel wheel just like the real one uh, it turns a little bit uh, doesn't turn much and then we have the glass with the rear defogger the rear glass has a rear defogger and then the high mounted stop lamp so this is the third brake light that you call and then the two windows are here on the side so this looks great the handle is here of course it doesn't open from here you cannot uh, i think you can't pull out the model from here so we can use the rear wheel to open the model and then it looks very nice very authentic look it has got these hinges here to open the door these two hinges are there on the badging front we have the defender uh, badging here <clears throat> the Land Rover logo and the defender badging very sharp looks very nice and the defender badging on the license plate overall it looks great from the rear it has the tailpipe coming out here it's it's got a real hole so it's not a fake plastic like we have in other models it's got a real hole inside it so nice touch there uh, moving on to the other side profile just as it is from the other side uh, one thing just notice this is the uh, the window glass that's there on the roof I don't know it's panoramic or what do you call it but it's there uh, looks great so the overall model looks great from outside uh, if you place it it looks very presentable very nice uh, sharp features well detailed uh, let's go into into the model and let's see the interiors and let's check it out so let's take a look inside the car let's start off with the driver's side let me zoom in a bit so 
so as you can see on the driver side uh, we got this basic steering wheel as we see from old school models it's got the nice uh, uh, dials out there very basic interiors but but looks great on the door it's very basic again it's a Land Rover so it's got very basic features we have the door handle and then the door opening thing here the door handles very basic and uh, it's a 4x4 so we got the gear and the 4x4 lever out there uh, to change the ratio The seat looks great. It's beige. It's gray, not beige. Sorry, it's gray in color. And uh, I think we got the seat belts as well. Uh, there's a center armrest, which is just a block of plastic. It's not anything functional. And then we have the rear view mirror. And then there is some controls here I think those are the switches for the interior cabin lights and we have the pedals here the ABC pedals so yeah from the driver side it looks very basic like in the real model uh, let's move on to the passenger side and take a look from that side So uh, looking from the passenger side, it's again very basic. We got the two AC controls. We got the infotainment buttons out there, the AC buttons probably. And we have got a grab handle here. That looks nice. Oh, by the way, I just noticed there's nice real looking carpeting out there with the Defender badging. So if you see here, there's a defender written and then looks like a very real carpet which is it's it's not but then looks very nice again we can see those uh, gear lever and then the differential lever overall looks nice uh, very basic like like it should be in the real car so now let's take a look at the rear side of the car the, let's open the rear door okay starting off we have the rear defogger as I mentioned before we got this grab handle uh, we got the locking mechanism and the locks are here that's probably the locking mechanism and then the rear side is very basic it's empty there's no third row of seats it's for carrying luggage so there's nothing out there there seems to be a light here uh, the rear cabin light I don't know looks like and then uh, if you see uh, the second row of seats uh, so, sorry the second row of seats cannot be accessed because the door doesn't open but if you if I can show you from here it's got the three seats got the seat belts seat belt buckles so it looks like well detailed I'll put some pictures at the end of the video so you could take a look uh, closely of these features Moving on to the most important thing, that's the engine of the car, that makes it so special. So that's the Land Rover Defender engine, it's extremely well detailed, if you see it's very nice, the pipes, the connections are so well detailed, I don't know, this looks very nice in real, I don't know how visible or how nice it's coming out in this video but in real it's awesome 
we got this real looking uh, labels here different kind of labels which is so nice we got the windshield wiper or the coolant I think so that looks so great it's got the depth to it it's it's very real it's not just a piece of plastic that's pasted there and hey look uh, one important thing I wanted to mention here this hood is not a dog leg hinge it's very nice very realistic looking oops sorry about that it's very real it's authentic hinges out here we got a lot of Land Rover badging everywhere here it's Land Rover we see Land Rover here a lot of nice details we got Land Rover here and uh, it does open with a uh, with a uh, like a rod yeah So that rod stays here it's real it sticks there's a hole out here where you can put in the uh, hood holding rod and then there it is looks so nice and then when you close it there is a space where you can actually park that rod and then you can close the bonnet so very well detailed very nice features uh, we got this windshield wipers here as well I forgot to mention that and uh, the mirrors are of course old school they don't fold in this model but that's about it uh, so this is the Land Rover Defender 110 heritage model made by Dorlop and uh, it's in 1 is to 18 scale I forgot to mention about the under the car so let's take a look there very nicely laid uh, underbody looks very realistic all the pieces look so real we got the Dolo branding here made in China and then that's the Land Rover Defender 110 licensed by Land Rover so yeah everywhere it's very nicely detailed uh, it's a budget model if you go for the almost real that will cost you at least three times this model it's this one is from a manufacturer called Dorlop so you can look it up and uh, that's my review of this model please do like the video share the video comment on it do let me know what you want to see next in my video if there's anything that i might include about the model if i made any mistakes sorry about that please do let me know and uh, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends so we'll see you in the next one have a good one have a good day bye bye